before you can start using the structural beam calculator, you need to collect some basic information from site. In, to enable you to do that, you're going to need some basic uh, equipment. For me, I use a Leica um, measuring device, which will give me accurate dimensions. It'll also calculate angles, particularly roof pitches. The other thing very useful is a camera. I will personally take lots of photographs of um, the outside of the building, the inside of the building, um, so when I get back to the office I can have a good look at, uh, at the construction and the layout. Obviously a standard tape measure, always very useful, and if you're working in a loft, which I do quite a lot, a decent lamp. For me, I collect everything and will write uh, information down on a piece of graph paper. Graph paper gives me a sense of scale, which means that uh, I can draw this roughly to scale, not, but not accurately, but that can then dimension that up. And something typically that I come back with site, I know it looks a bit of a mess, but for me, I've got all the information written down. Um, now that will tell me the uh, dimensions be uh, between walls, the heights of uh, windows, um, floor to ceiling heights, and I will more, more than likely do a section through a building um, so I can, I can see that as well, including um, floor thicknesses. I've been to site, I've come back. The next task is to get all the information down uh, on paper, or in my case, I'll use AutoCAD. I'll, I'll draw up the existing floor plans and the sections from all the information I've collected. And that will be the start of the information that we'll eventually give to the builder and we'll get approval for, for building regs. So I'll, I'll draw it all up um, and from that will give me um, the information I need to start thinking about putting the information into the steel beam calculator. Now the information that we need, for example, for a roof, uh, for a loft conversion, which is something we do quite a lot of, will be the, um, the width between the gable ends, if that's where I'm going to put the steel beams, the makeup of the roof, which will be the size of the uh, rafters and the purlins and the joists, and if there are any structural walls below that I could use to, um, to take the steel. Having worked out how we're going to produce the new layout, um, I will use that information to start feeding in to the structural beam calculator. So the first thing I'd do, uh, having, having got everything down on paper, would be then to open up the software and start in, input, inputting the data that I need um, to give me the, um, the design or the size of the beams that eventually go onto the drawing. Having now um, got all the information that you need, you need to start inputting data into the steel beam calculator so that you can start coming up with your, the size of the beams that are required. The first thing to do is to enter the beam length. For this we'll just use an example and we'll call three metres. Also to know that all the information goes in in metres, so 3.0. The next step is um, what type of load. You'd put in a, a uniformly distributed load, a partial distributed load or a point load. In this case we'll use a uniformly distributed load. This will bring up a, a drop down box which will give you a whole load of different types of loads. For this example we will use a sloping roof between 30 to 45 degrees. The next point of input that you need to do is to put in the width of that load. To find that information, you can go straight to the examples and guide page. If you go to the guide page and then click how to calculate load widths, you'll see a range of examples. Here you can see we're looking at putting in a, uh, a roof a load width between 30 and 45 degrees. You'll see that we're looking at putting two ashlar walls in to calculate this beam here. So in this example we'll be looking at the distance between the centre line of the roof and the beam and, and ha well, halfway between the centre line and the beam and halfway between the wall plate and the beam yeah. added together. For this example we'll say that this, um, this is at 30 degrees. Um, we, to calculate the, the load to put into the calculator we'll take the centre line 
of the roof and we'll need um, the distance between the steel beam and the centre line and the distance between the steel beam and the wall plate divided by two. You'll find loads more examples um, back, if you go back to the home page, press the examples tab, you'll find lots more examples. You'll also find reports that have been based on those examples, which you can print out and have a look for at all the information required. So there's my sloping roof. If I just put that in there and put, I don't know, 2.0, 2 just for something to be there, yeah? Okay, so we've got our sloping roof. Um, I want to add another load. Click add another load. In this case, I'll add another uniformly distributed load and we'll add the ashlar walls, which in this case will be a timber stud wall plus two sheets of plasterboard. We know that the, um, the height of the stud wall will be one metre. So I could type in there one and there's another load added. You'll carry on adding, adding load after load until you've added all the loads necessary um, to calculate your steel beam. Once all the loads are added, you simply scroll down and run the calculation. And that will then give you the uh, smallest beam that you can possibly use. You simply click on that and then download your report. And there are lots of examples of downloaded reports in the examples and the, gu and the guide page. The real advantage to this software is that um, a small practice like us, we can calculate beams whenever we want. Um, not only that, it saves us time, we can get our jobs to the clients much quicker, and also um, we save a lot of money um, by doing this work ourselves. Typically, um, the software will cost you £60, but one beam calculated with a typical st structural engineer will probably cost you 100 to £150. So by calculating one beam using this fantastic piece of software, you will save yourself a lot of money and be a lot more efficient. But without the software, you'd have to send that off to a structural engineer, take a couple of days and you know, wait for that to come back, depending on their workload. If we're in a rush, we can get the beams calculated immediately. So it makes us a lot, lot more efficient. It's a fantastic saving to us. There's, uh, it'll, a typical beam calculated by a structural engineer will charge somewhere between 100 and 150 pounds per beam, depending on the, compl on the complexity of it. Could be even more. With a one-off fee of £60 um, for a year's subscription and you can calculate as many beams as you want, um, it, it just makes us so much more efficient and saves a substantial sum of money at the end of the year. The support is absolutely fantastic. Um, if, if you need any help, you can either email, ring um, and someone from the, the team will answer your questions almost immediately uh, and certainly within 24 hours.